let's make our way over to... Oh, oh, turning, turning. Oh, that's the wrong direction. That's the arena mushroom. Oh, loading. Loading. Loading into nowhere. That's not a real song. It's, it's not, so... Just in case you thought it was. I'm awesome. That's a lie. Okay, anyway. This is the Bell Tower of Pimps. I am not a member of Achievement Hunter because the world is cruel and awful, and I do not build stuff for them in Minecraft because, well, they don't know I exist. Um, yet. Yet. Anyway, moving along. It's the Bell Tower of Pimp now. The object in the Bell Tower of Pimp is to kill your opponents so they keep respawning back at the top and can never reach the bottom. And I'm going to switch to slash game mode. Sp oh, not with caps, we don't. Whenever I play Minecraft, I accidentally hit caps and, uh, instead of shift and then I've always got caps on, and mm, it just goes from there. Um, anyway, spectator. Sp that didn't work. What am I doing wrong? I think I spelled gamer mode wrong. There we go. I'm in sp. Now, ideally, I'm going to set the spawn point up in the sky. So when you're falling down to earth, it comes into focus more and more. X marks the spot, right? And I'm going to plummet the players quickly down through the center here. As you can see, as we get closer to green in the center, that's slime. And that's going to save our players from ba -ba -ba -bum certain death. Now I'm not going to bounce on it here, but BAM! You land right here, and you bounce a little, and uh, you get a little uh, bouncing action here. A little teabagging, teabagging. Oh, okay. Just kidding. Just... Moving on, Pepper. Nobody cares. Alright. Anyway, um, these are for, uh, of course, your golden hose on your tower pimp. If you cannot fill your tower pimp up with golden hose, what kind of pimp are you? All right, my plant lights are going off. It's about to get dark. It's late night, Peppa. Now, each level has its own challenges. I'm gonna move down to the next level here. As you can see, there's lots of different chests that give you different advantages. They can give you uh, different potions, a lot of different potions. And they can give you different weapons, different armor. Basically, you are navigating your way through this quagmire. And each, each level's got its own little uh, challenge. Like, this level here, you've got to make sure that you hit the right pressure plates and get stuff, but you could accidentally get a negative potion. Now this can help or hurt you, but you are looking for something on each level, so you have to try. That's the problem. You never know what you're gonna get. Alright, this level right here, you actually have to switch the levers. I'm not gonna show you how, so you know how to do it. And that's not much of a puzzle. So basically, you have hazards or puzzles or free-for-all chests on every level. If it's a free-for-all chest level, well, there's there's a lot that could go wrong there. There's a lot that could go absolutely right. In each level, you're fighting for your life against your opponents. Now, this little parkour course, because what would amaze me without a really annoying parkour course? Basically, the only way to get back up and out is using the parkour course. directly up there and I love spectator mode don't you uh, okay anyway moving on 
After you get your golden hose and all the things that you are required to get, there's a list of things that you can choose from uh, to have people get in there. And I have it all written out, uh, and it's annoying, and I'm not going to show it to you because you don't need to know right now. But there are a lot of different options for the um, tower, bell tower pimps. So there's a lot of different games that can be played. Once you do get to the very bottom, the last and final thing you need for every bell tower pimps game is down there in the bottom of the parkour course. I'm not going to show you where, but there is a record. There is a record down here that is the badass, most funkiest, pimpinest beat. You gotta grab it, parkour back up, either take your fire-resistant potion, if you're lucky enough to have found it, or figure out another way up and through without dying. If you die, of course you'll have to go all the way back down to where you died in less than five minutes to retrieve that record. There is more than one record, but there is not enough for all the players. Make your way back up. You can break levers and you can break pressure plates, but that's all you can break in this maze. Remember that you have to find a way back up so you don't want to destroy all the pathways so that you have an edge against your opponent because it won't work that way. But the Bell Tower of Pimps is a lovely place to slaughter your enemies and to find out that you hate your friends even more than you thought you did. Um, but. Uh, of course, Bell Tower of Pimps, uh, named by, uh, by me, inspired by Gavin Free, because he is a pimp. And uh, I am not affiliated yet again with Achievement Hunter or Rooster Teeth, except for I like them. I'm a fan. I'm a sponsor. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the Bell Tower of Pimp. It was fun to make and it will be even funner to play once I find some people to play with. <laughs> Awkward. Thanks for watching. See you next week.